Amid the vast expanse of Xinjiang's Taklamakan Desert, also known as the Sea of Death, a remarkable effort is unfolding, a monumental attempt to protect the world's longest desert highway from the inexorable onslaught of sand. China's ambitious plan calls for the creation of a 60-meter-wide forest belt stretching 522 kilometers along the desert highway's winding path. This visionary project represents a crucial step in protecting vital infrastructure from the advancing sands of Taklamakan, a desert known for its unforgiving terrain and formidable challenges. Led by Ma Jinwu, the project's general manager, the ambitious afforestation initiative aims to fortify the highway from the relentless onslaught of drifting sands that threaten to engulf its very foundation. The initial 200 hectare phase of the project we'll see a carefully selected array of desert-tolerant flora planted along a 31-kilometer stretch of the highway. These hardy plants, specially bred to thrive in the harsh desert environment, will serve as a natural barrier against the oncoming sand flow, strengthening the highway infrastructure's resilience to the inexorable forces of nature. The significance of this project cannot be overemphasized, as the desert highway serves as a vital line connecting the Lunan oil field in the north to Minfeng County in the south, effectively dividing the vast Taklamakan region into two parts. The 340,000 square kilometer Taklamakan Desert is the world's second largest desert, and its shifting sands pose a perennial human challenge. Despite initial highway construction efforts that included advanced sand control measures, including sand grids, the inexorable march of floating sand dunes poses a constant threat to stability. With sand shifting at a staggering rate of five meters per year, the need for proactive measures to preserve the integrity of the highway has become increasingly urgent. The afforestation project is a bold and innovative solution to this pressing problem harnessing the power of nature to fortify critical infrastructure against the inexorable forces of erosion and desertification. By creating a green oasis amidst the arid expanse of Taklamakan, this visionary initiative not only protects the integrity of the desert highway, but also helps rejuvenate fragile ecosystems and preserve biodiversity in one of the world's most inhospitable environments. As the project progresses, its impact will extend far beyond infrastructure, serving as a beacon of hope and resilience in the face of adversity. With innovation, determination, and a deep reverence for the natural world, China's ambitious reforestation project is a testament to humanity's ongoing quest to conquer the harshest landscapes and pave the way for a sustainable future. This year marks an important milestone in this ambitious endeavor. Two million resilient rose willows, saxol and buckthorn trees are to take root along a vast highway. Selected through a rigorous process involving 50 tree varieties and a decade of careful experimentation, these hardy specimens represent the pinnacle of desert afforestation technology. With small leaves and a modest height of two meters, these trees have become ideal guardians of the desert highway able to withstand the harsh realities of desert life with remarkable resilience. One of the key traits that distinguish these trees is their ability to retain moisture and thrive in arid conditions, a crucial adaptation for survival in the harsh desert environment. By gradually releasing moisture and withstanding the relentless onslaught of desert winds, these resilient trees will play a key role in protecting the highway from advancing sands and preserving its integrity for generations to come. The mastermind behind this transformative project, Ma Jenwu, envisions a future in which the highway will serve as a beacon of progress and connectivity, unencumbered by the challenges of desertification. When the project is completed, Ma asserts, the highway will be free of desert and will become an unblocked artery for the transportation of oil and materials needed in southern Xinjiang. The highway itself serves as a vital line linking the vast expanse of the Tarim Basin, a vast inland basin covering 530,000 square kilometers in southern Xinjiang to the rest of the region. With more than a billion tons of proven oil reserves and production from seven fields, 
The Tarim Basin is the cornerstone of China's energy infrastructure, driving economic growth and prosperity in the region. However, the task of transforming the desert landscape into a thriving oasis comes with a number of challenges. Planting trees in the desert requires innovative solutions to ensure saplings survive and grow in this harsh environment. Deep wells, reaching depths of 100 meters, must be carefully dug every two kilometers to ensure a reliable water supply for the tree seedlings, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the local authorities. As the desert highway undergoes amazing changes, it becomes a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity and our ability to conquer even the harshest of landscapes. With every tree planted and every milestone reached, we are one step closer to a future where the desert blossoms with life and vitality, and progress and sustainability go hand in hand. Guided by the wisdom of Chinese environmentalist Xu Xinwen, this transformative initiative involves irrigating resilient trees with high salinity water extracted from the depths of desert wells. The survival rate of these hardy trees is an impressive 95%, contradicting the traditional limitations imposed by sandy soil and salty ground. Xu explains that the unique properties of the desert soil allow for flexible water sources, challenging traditional norms and expanding opportunities for dry land deforestation. The 31-kilometer-long green strip along the highway is not only a testament to the resilience of the selected tree varieties, but also a strategic attempt to fortify the region against the relentless onslaught of desert winds. In addition to the 2 million trees planted along the highway, a 30-hectare forest area is planned. This green corridor is not just an aesthetic addition. It is a practical shield that will reduce wind speeds by an astounding 28 to 70 percent. Test results from similar areas show the transformative power of afforestation. The potential reduction in wind-blown sand is 90 percent. Xu Xinwen believes that this afforestation work can become a model for ecological restoration in arid regions. The success on the desert road will serve as a beacon to guide similar initiatives to restore barren lands and balance ecosystems. Beyond the immediate benefits of sand reduction and wind control, this endeavor serves as a model of sustainability, demonstrating how innovation and adaptability can coexist with nature. In the vastness of China, where 713,000 square kilometers of desert are challenging the limits of possibility, Xinjiang is emerging as a key battleground for ecological restoration. With a sixth of China's desert terrain within its borders, Xinjiang is becoming a laboratory for testing solutions that can reach far beyond its borders. The success of this reforestation project, which pushes the boundaries of what is possible, demonstrates the triumph of human ingenuity over seemingly insurmountable environmental problems. Rooted trees resisting the desert winds tell a story of resilience, adaptation, and limitless potential for renewal even in the harshest of landscapes.